Hi guys, uh, let's look at how we can uh, see or how we can view uh, primary key versus uh, foreign key. Guys, I have uh, several tables. I think I have five tables whereby uh, we have the airline management system where we have airline table, we have passengers table, bookings table, airport and freights. So guys, uh, if you look at airlines table, we have airline as the primary key. Then on the other hand, if we go to uh, freight table, we have freight as the primary key. Then when we go to airports, we have airport ID as the primary key. But guys, if you look at the airline ID here, it becomes the foreign key. It becomes the foreign key creating relationship with airlines table. On the other hand, if you look at passengers table, then when you come to booking table, passengers ID here is the primary key. But when you come to booking table, the passengers ID is now a foreign key. The same case, freight ID here becomes the foreign key, whereas in the freight table, it is the primary, uh, it's the primary key. So guys, I want us to uh, have a database whereby you shall see how foreign key and um, uh, primary key relates. So we go to our desktop, right click, go to new, then folder. So here we shall just uh, write as foreign key, for, uh, foreign key concept, con concept. So I open that one, then right click inside new then we go to microsoft access we can also call it the foreign key or the foreign key concept so guys i then double click this and then we can be in a position to create uh, our tables so enable go to uh, create right like now if i go to this point here create design guys we, sh we can have the airline airline id airline id here the airline id is our primary key then we have airline and that is airline uh, name name here this is text so this is the airline table so we just come here and save this one so this one is the airline table airline table then guys, I cross that one, go to next table. We can have the freight. We have the freight, the freight ID. This is our primary key. Then we have our airline ID. We have airline, airline ID here, there. So uh, here, uh, guys, I want to create a relationship Remember, in our airline table, airline ID is the primary key. But now, in freight table here, our primary key is freight ID and our foreign key is airline ID. So I create a relationship for that case. So I just go to this point. I use lookup wizard. Then use option number one. So I choose airline, go next. Then I choose airline ID as my foreign key. Next next finish so guys for that case i have created a relationship this is the freight freight uh, table so after doing that i also need to uh, go to the next table so i just go to create the next table is booking table so we have booking id this is the primary key then who is booking we have what are what's being booked it is the freight ID. So the freight ID guys here, again I create a relationship once I have created the freight table. Look up wizard. Next. So I choose freight. Next. Then freight ID. So guys here the freight ID now becomes the foreign key. So next. Next. Finish. So there guys I have already now created a relationship. This is booking. Bookings table. Then on the same case on the booking table, you have the passenger ID, passenger, passenger, you have the passenger ID. Then uh, we can create another table here, 
you can create another table so for this one you have the passenger id the passenger id guys in the passengers table the passenger id is the primary key then this guy the passenger is booking uh, is booking a flight so the passenger will have the flight the flight id that he or she is booking so for that case again we at the flight id here becomes the foreign key whereas in the flight table here you can see it's the primary key so i take the flight id next next finish then i save uh, this one this is the passenger uh, passengers table then guys i cross this i go back to booking so this time round the we have seen in uh, in this table passenger id is the primary key but in bookings table it becomes the foreign key and for that case i can create relationship so i go next uh, i need the passenger id from the passenger here is the primary key but it becomes the foreign key on the other table so guys after having done that i can cross this one and you'll be in a position to see that uh, when i go to database tools then relationship guys you can see the relationships have been created so here you can be in a position to see the foreign key versus the primary key right now here guys the airline id in airline table is the primary key whereas in the freight table here it becomes the foreign key on the other hand if you look at the passengers uh, table here the passenger id is the primary key whereas in the bookings table the passenger id becomes the foreign key guys i am sure you have now seen the concept behind now the primary key and the foreign key so guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe remember to share uh, my videos with your friends thank you very much